All right, welcome to my Paint a Tuna Fish Colors Location Guide. So as you can see, there's multiple things you can do with this skin. You have to get the color bottles, and then you can get the character styles as well. So for this first video, I'm gonna show you where all the color bottles are. So this entire first section, there's 21 total, and I'm gonna show you each and every single one, starting with the Nightly Crimson one. Here we go. So I'm gonna put some timestamps on these as well, so you can skip to them instantly and find which one you're looking for. So let's do this. All right, so this first one says, find bottles of Nightly Crimson in Fort Crumpet. Oh, will you look at that? They actually show up on the minimap. That is so cool. So this is what you're looking for right here. And again, they show up on the map, so that's pretty easy. So there's one right here. Gobble that up. Let's see how hard they are to find. Next one is, oh, you can even see the beam shooting up too. There's number two. And number three. I wonder how fast we can do this in. There's the third one. Nice. The next one is y Labs Magenta, and it's found in Misty Meadows. Three of them. All right, so let's approach Misty Meadows, and they should all show up exactly where they are. So you can see they're on the left side, way over here. So the first one is right here on top this building. I'm gonna yoink that. And then the other one's right up here on this building. I wonder if they're all on top. That'll make it pretty easy if so. Collect that one real quick. Yeah, they sure are. There's the last one right there. Easy. Next we have Cuddly Pink. And these are found in Steamy Stacks. All right, so Steamy Stacks is a big area. So let's see exactly where the three colors are found. So it looks like they're over this way. Possibly, oh, nope, here's the first one right here. I mean, there's a guy in there. Okay, so the first one's right next to the number three. Pretty easy. And the other two, oh, they're right in the southernmost stack. So you're gonna have to climb up the tower. That was two. And the third one's at the top. Right here. Super easy. I'm gonna get all these in one day for sure. Next up is Ruby Red in Lockie's Lighthouse. So Lockie's Lighthouse, of course, is located in the northwest aspect of the map, right up here. I imagine there's gonna be some on top of it, if I would have to guess, because this is a really small area. Although I guess they could put them in that house down there. And let's find out. It'll be right below here. There it is. Okay, so kinda near the top for the first one. Build a little platform here. It looks like all three are in the lighthouse because there's still two showing up. So just mosey your way down. I guess you could start at the bottom as well and work your way up. You can see another beam right here. So moving on down. Slowly but surely, there's number two. And the third one must be on the very bottom. Oh, it's right at the front door. Cool. There you go. Next up is Renegade Red in Boney Burbs. Looks like there's one right here. Ooh, look at that nice orange color. Very nice. We do have an enemy here, so I gotta be careful. Sorry, Venom. All right, the next one is near where the first one was. So the first one was right over there. Second one's right here. And then it looks like we've got to go right over here to get the third one. These are all easy. I love it. Boom. Right on the bridge. That was all three. All right, so for pumpkin orange, we've got the orchard. All right, so here we are in the orchard for my favorite color. Looks like there's one right on top of this wooden wheelbarrow. Take that one. And then there's one to the right in this actual orchard area by the tractor. 
It's actually on the trailer of the tractor. You just have to walk through them, by the way. And then the last one appears to be near the house. Let's see if it's in it, or on top of it, or behind it. Nope, it's behind it. It's actually in the little shack behind it. Nice. Pumpkin orange, come on in. Next up is Midas Gold, and it's in Caddy Corner. So, let's see, what can we expect here? Looks like there's one right on top of this canister with all the fruit inside. On top of the pallets right here. And you may as well open any chests that you can while you're doing this because you could get the ink splashes like that. I got one of them there. You get them just by opening chests, which is amazing. I love it. What else we got? One right here, just in the middle of the road, right in front of that... What the... Bada boom. And then the third. Oh, I'm on hot feet, hot feet. The third and final one is inside the garage in Chonkers Customs, right here. Hey, brother. Ta da! All three of them. Love it. Next up is Desert Sand. And it says we're going to the wreckage west of Pleasant Park. Okay, so it's closer to Coral Castle. Sort of. I see two of them down here. Oh, yep. Yeah. They're quite literally in the desert sand. Oh, you gotta glide to this one. Oh, wait. Wait, what am I in? Okay, they're all in the glider thing here. Sorry, this is my first time here. I've never, uh, never done this before. Looks like they're all in this tube. It's hard for me to see what I'm doing because I'm also in the storm at the moment. Oh, there's the other one, right up here. So just enter the tube, and you should be good to go. Eh, maybe. You gotta go right over it, though. Come on. This time, this time, this time. All right. Next up is Leafy Green in Stealthy Stronghold. All right, let's see if we can get these real quick before we die. One's on top of here. Next one's right next to it. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. And the third one's right over here. Can we make it? No, it's right in front of my face. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm coming back for that last one. I can't believe I died right in front of it. So it's right here to the left of the big dish. Next up is Recruit Green on the Weeping Woods Bridge. All right, so we got to go to the bridge in Weeping Woods. I think that's over here on the left side. Let's take a peek. Kind of near the old... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see them. Oh, those are a nasty brown color. Kind of hard to see on the minimap. Looks like one's right in this building right here. Again, we're on the bridge. This whole thing right here is the bridge. So we'll break down. Let's see if it's inside here or at the bottom. Nope, it's actually in the building. What a yucky color that is. Next one is... Well, there's one behind me, but let's get this one next. Right on the opposite end of the bridge. Cool. Oh, there's a bad guy. And the last one is back this way. Actually, right where that guy died. Thanks for the location, kid. Right there. Yoink. What else we got? We're moseying right along here. We've got Banana Yellow at Rainbow Rentals. Oh yeah, you can see them showing up on the minimap right there. I can see them all right away. First one is by this big tree right here. Easy peasy. I love how you can see the beam, so you know exactly where they are. Second one is actually in this yellow house of Rainbow Rentals. Take that. Let's see if I can get some paint out of here too. Ooh, nice. And the last one is right outside the yellow house. Right here. Easy peasy. Codename GRN, aka Green, in Corny Crops. Aha, here we go. So, looks like they're on the left side of Corny Crops. Break through the corn. And there's one right there. I guess it's not really in the corn. There's one. Chest right here as well. Now, the next two are straight ahead this way. And if you look at your mini-map in the top right, 
They're just to the left and right of the C in Corny. So one is right there on the right, and the other should be yep, right there on the left. Nice. So again, on the left side of Corny Crops. Just stick near the word corny on your minimap, and you should find all three pretty easily. Right there. Codename GRN. Okay, so the next two, Ghoulish Green and Slurp Turquoise. First of all, they look amazing. Second of all, they're right next to each other. So Ghoulish Green is in Shantytown, and Turquoise is in Sludgy Swamp. So I'm going to do both of these at the same time. All right, so Shantytown is right down here to the left of Sludgy Swamp. Not Slurpy Swamp, but Sludgy Swamp. Sweet. So these should be pretty close to each other because this is a very small area. Yep, looks like it. Oh shoot, looks like we also have a guy landing here with us. You a bot? Yeah, I think it was. All right, so the first one's right under here, under this little shanty. Second one is underneath this one with the rope net right there. Easy, I saw footsteps. What the heck is that? Gonna be nice. Can I get that too? Thanks, buddy. Thank you. So two of them are pretty close over here. Looks like the southern aspect of Sludgy. Oh, here's one right here on this broken debris. Nice. Next one is right across from it. Oh, there's a bounty board. Right there on that piece of debris. And the other one appears to be a little ways away. So we'll cycle back. Oh, nope. It's down in this piece of debris. Okay. So pretty separated here. Still not that difficult. All right, we're getting there. One more row to go. Diamond Blue can be found in Gorgeous Gorge. So Gorgeous Gorge is right here, just near Lazy Lake. You can see it on the minimap right here. The big drop off, of course. Now this is a really small area, so I imagine these are all gonna be right next to each other. Yes, they are. Looks like they're in mid-air too, so Team Rumble for sure on this one. All right, so the first one's right there. Glide right into it. I mean, obviously you could just jump right off there. Oh, one is up there too, shoot. Okay, and then the last one is down here. So you go up there, yeet yourself off, get the one in midair, and then swim to this third and final one. Pretty easy. And there we go. Next up is Frozen Blue in Coral Castle. Looks like they can be found starting on the A in Coral. And they're all in a row, too. So here's the first one, right in between these statues then just keep on going forward you got another one right on top the center building here pretty easy and then the third one's right in front of that as you can see right there one of the easier ones i'll take it and then we've got bright purple in retail row where are they aha looks like they're all in this building you can see the outlines through the roof Here's one right here in the stall area. Nice. What else we got? Next one is right here, right outside near the cashier. Where's the third one? Oh, third one's right outside the front door. Yeah, so those are all right next to each other. That's a bit strange. Next up is Crystalline Blue, and it says, In the wreckage south of Dirty Docks. All right, so here's Dirty Docks right here. So I imagine it's this newish area right here, just south of it. Crystalline Blue. Let's go find them. 
All right, so in these new areas, you've got those loopy things. Kind of like from Season 9 of Chapter 1. See one right here on my minimap, at least. Do we have to enter the loop again? Or do we just have to land? Let's see. I feel like it's actually in there again. Yep, it is. I'll go right over it. Yoink, there's one. Probably just have to follow this up. Yep, there's a second one. Yoink, got it. The third one. Yeah. Well, that was easy. Beach. Mesmerizing Violet says, found in the wreckage south of Believer Beach. So maybe another loop-to-loop -loop thing. Let's go take a look. All right, spotted already. Do we have to enter the loop? Probably. Yep, right there. Got him. There's one. Here we go around the mulberry bush. Second one right there. And there's the third one. Whee! Robotic gray destroyed dish. Hmm. And then mount F8 for stone gray. So let's do stone gray first. Mount F8. All right, so the mountain you want is this white one right down here, south of Misty Meadows, right here. And as you can see, they are appearing on the map already. So let's dip down, grab ourselves some paint. Looks like we got one near the flag right here. Another one just a little ways down. And the other one appears to be all the way over here. Let's just glide. Maybe it's up. Oh yeah, I see the the beam, even in the storm. So it's pretty much at the tippy top up here. And again, this is Mount F8, south of Misty Meadows. Boom. All right, here's the last one. Robotic Gray, it says, in Destroyed Dish. So this is kind of west of Dirty Docks. I'll show you the exact location right now. This was an IO dish spot last season. And now it clearly has been destroyed. I wonder if we have to go through the loop again. One of these areas. Yeah, see, this was the location right here. Oh, they're kind of hard to see on the map because they're so gray. Nope, we don't have to go in the loop this time. So here's the first one. Looks like we've got one underneath this little tent right here. Boom. And the third one, like I said, very hard to see. Appears to be right over here. Ta-da! And we're done. We have now successfully collected all of the colors. How crazy is that? We sure did. All 21 of the color bottles are in our collection. You can do it immediately. This guide should help you. Now for the rest of these, you do have to collect the rainbow ink, which you can find in the chest, and then you buy these individually. So I'll cover these in a separate video. And then of course, we have no idea what these are. They come in 17 days. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code which is Tabor time.